that somebody would do this to two young girls is it just kind of don't know what to say. There's still a lot of unanswered questions that we're trying to figure out. We hope and pray every day that justice for the girls is, is, is given. We don't think about things like this, but this, this monster, they're going to get him. I am proud to report to you that today, actually last Friday, was the day. Good afternoon, I'm Nicole Griffin. Two counts of murder is the charge against the suspect in the murders that rocked Delphi, Indiana, and the entire state for more than five years. You watched the formal announcement made right here on WRTV less than two hours ago. We have team coverage this midday, starting with WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson, who has been following this announcement throughout the morning. She joins us live in Delphi with reaction to this long awaited news. Rachel, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Bittersweet is how Indiana State Police describe today. For more than five years, so many have been waiting for justice in the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. The suspect investigators say was hiding in plain sight. 50 year old Richard Allen has been charged for their murders. Records show Allen has lived in the Delphi community for at least 16 years. Although the big announcement came today, Indiana State Police say Allen was taken into custody Wednesday by the Delphi Double Homicide Task Force and then transported to Carroll County Jail. He is now in the White County Jail. Allen has pleaded not guilty and is being held without bond. In the meantime, all court documents related to the case remain under seal, meaning the details leading up to the arrest are not available to the public at this time. ISP says they feel confident they got their guy. They made a promise to the families in 2017. On February 13th, 2017, the girls went for a walk in the woods near the Monon High Bridge. They were never seen alive again. On Valentine's Day of 2017, their bodies were found on the back end of a private piece of property less than a mile from where they were dropped off the day before. What happened between the time they were dropped off and when their bodies were tragically found has remained a mystery for years. Finding the Delphi killer has become an international obsession. Today was an emotional day as people pack this church. Listen to those closest what they had to say about the case. Pulling in today, I wasn't really sure what emotion I would I would experience but peace came over me and I didn't expect that to happen and I hope all of you with all the different responsibilities you have from around the planet today have felt some of that as well but remember we're not done we now move forward through the Indiana criminal justice system, allowing the system to provide its due diligence and process in providing that justice which is owed Abby and Libby, their families, and this community. I've been very clear to everybody that per the court order, we cannot talk about the evidence that's in the probable cause or the evidence that's in the charging information. That will become evident to you at some point and it will be released, but right now is not that day. Today's about Abby and Libby. ISP says they've gone through more than 70,000 tips to get to today, and I can tell you for the community, there is a sigh of relief. As far as Allen goes, his bond is set for March of 2023. Reporting live in Delphi, I'm Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Rachel, thank you. So who is Richard Allen? We've been working to find out more about the suspect in the Delphi case, especially since all the court documents remain sealed as of right now. WRTV investigates Kara Kenny joins us live now with what she's uncovering. Kara. That's right, Nicole. Richard Allen is actually a longtime member of the community. He's actually lived here in Delphi for at least the past 16 years. He's owned this home on Whiteman Drive since 2006, a middle class neighborhood with multiple homes. It's half a mile from the middle school where Abby and Libby attended. It's also two and a half miles from the Monon High Bridge where their bodies were found nearby. 
Allen has virtually no criminal history. We could only find two speeding tickets and a seatbelt violation. Richard Allen is a licensed pharmacy technician in the state of Indiana. He worked at a CVS in Delphi. We've just confirmed that. CVS corporate just sent us the following statement. As members of the Carroll County community, we remain devastated by these murders and our hearts go out to the German and Williams families. We are shocked and saddened to learn that one of our store employees was arrested as a suspect in these crimes. We stand ready to cooperate with the police investigation in any way we can. Now, we, we, we have reached out to Allen's family via email, via phone, and we have not been able to reach them. We also stopped by Allen's home just about an hour ago, and no one answered the door. We're live in Delphi, Kara Kenny, WRTV. Kara, thank you. And for the community of Delphi, today's announcement has been long anticipated. And while it does bring some sense of closure, what they are finding out about this suspect stuns them. Our Rafael Sanchez spoke to some people who live in Delphi to find out how they plan to move forward. Abby Williams and Libby German. It's been more than five years since their deaths. People who live in Delphi hope today's announcement will bring an end to the years of anxiety and fear. The backside of our house is along a woods and a creek and so um, just having that similar um, environment of where those girls were at, having that similar environment of my house, um, I just always made sure that there was somebody there um, so that I wasn't put in a bad situation. To find out that the possible suspect was living among them during an intense national search that lasted more than five years is baffling to many who called the city of 3000 home. It wasn't from New York or California or Indianapolis. Local, apparently a local guy who was amongst you. What do you make of that, that this person was able to not be identified for five years? So that shocks me. I think that's the way I was able to kind of think that things were normal by thinking it was from outside of our community. And so to think that all this time, that's a shock. Being a small rural community that Carroll County is, that it would be hard to hide amongst us um, just because we are you, you know your neighbors, you, you know the people down the road, and it kind of is your own neighborhood watch, I guess, if you if you want to say that. Um, so you, it's just, yeah, just you wouldn't have thought that they would be right in your backyard. I just hope that this truly is closure for the family. Um, being a mother of young daughters myself, you know, you just hope that um, they can go out into the community safely, walk those trails, um, and not have to worry about somebody still being at large. And nothing's going to be able to replace what he's done by taking away those poor lives uh, of those girls. That was our Rafael Sanchez reporting right now at WRTV.com. You can see all of our coverage of the Delphi murders from the beginning of the case in February 2017 through today's announcement of an arrest. And we will have more updates throughout the day as they come into our newsroom. Just find this link on the front page at WRTV.com.